Can you run large language models on a Raspberry Pi 5? We get this question a lot and the short answer is yes. The better question is, are they any good? In this video we'll set up a Pi 5 to run 4 LLMs locally with Olama and show you real responses and speeds so you know what's smooth, what's borderline and what to avoid. At the end I give you a clear conclusion with use cases. What I tested. I used a Raspberry Pi 5 with 8GB of RAM running Raspberry Pi OS Bookworm. I installed Olama which makes it easy to download and run models. I added a small 2GB swap file to make juggling models more stable on 8GB. Then I pulled 4 models from the Olama library. The 4 models are Gwen 2.5 with 0.5 billion parameters, Phi 3 Mini with about 3.8 billion parameters, Mistral Instruct with 7 billion parameters and Tiny Llama as an example of an over quantized and very small model. I also tried Llama 3.23b with a very aggressive quantization but it did not work reliably on my setup so I used Tiny Llama instead. The total download was around 8 GB which on my connection took around 10 minutes. To compare the models fairly I asked each model the same 7 short prompts. I kept the generation settings the same, up to 160 tokens with a moderate temperature and top peak. I measured how long each answer took on the Pi and I checked the quality of each answer. How I set everything up. The setup was very simple. I updated the system, I installed basic tools and I enabled a small swap file to reduce memory pressure. Then I installed Olama for ARM64 and enabled it as a service so it starts automatically. Then I downloaded the four models and did a quick smoke test with a tiny hello prompt. That's it. Here is what I observed during the tests. First, Gwen 2.5 with 0.5 billion parameters felt the fastest. For short prompts it often answered in a few seconds. For example, a friendly greeting took about 5 seconds, a short math task took about 11 seconds. However, the reading quality was mixed. It got the math correct, but it struggled with logic and with German grammar. You can use it when you need speed and very short replies, but you should not expect deep reasoning. Second, Phi 3 Mini was clearly more accurate in many everyday tasks like simple logic and translation. However, it was slower. Many answers took about 10 seconds. For example, a greeting took about 50 seconds. A short math task took about a minute. The translation quality and the logic answers were noticeably better than Gwen 0.5b. If you can wait a bit longer, you get higher quality. Third, Mistral Instruct with 7 billion parameters did run on the Pi 5 with 8 GB and swap. But it was the slowest to respond. Some answers took about 2 minutes. The answer quality was strong overall. Still, it even hallucinated once by speaking as if the Raspberry Pi 5 did not exist. That is a reminder that bigger models can still make mistakes. In practice, this model is useful when you can run it as a background service and you do not need instant interaction. And finally, Tiny Llama was fast-ish but often wrong and strange. It produced grammar mistakes, it gave incorrect facts such as inventors receiving the wrong awards. It also struggled with simple logic. This is what too small or over quantized often looks like. You get words quickly but not reliable answers. Here are some examples that highlight the differences between the models. I tested the prompt translate this sentence into German. The Raspberry Pi is a small but powerful computer. And this is the output of some of the models. Gwen 2.5 0.5b responded Die Raspbian ist ein kleiner, aber starkes Computer. This shows two clear problems. First, it changes the product name to Raspbian, which is wrong in this context. Second, the article and adjective endings are incorrect in German. This highlights that very small models can produce fast answers, but they may struggle with correct grammar and proper nouns. Pi 3 Mini responded, Der Raspberry Pi ist ein kleiner, aber leistungsstarker Computer. This is correct German with the right article, the right adjective endings and the correct product name. 
This highlights that a slightly larger model can deliver better language accuracy even if it is slower. In another prompt, I tested simple chain of thought logic. The prompt was, if Alice is taller than Bob and Bob is taller than Carol, who is the shortest? And here is what the models responded. Gwen 2.5 0.5b produced a confused and incomplete conclusion. This highlights that tiny models can stumble on very basic transitive reasoning. Phi 3 Mini said clearly, Carol is the shortest and explained it briefly. This highlights that a mid-size model can handle simple logic reliably on the Pi. Mistral Instruct 7b also answered Carol is the shortest with a short explanation. This highlights that larger models remain accurate, but they are much slower on the Pi. Tiny Lama incorrectly claimed that Alice would be the shortest. What each model is good for. Here is how I would use these models on a Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 GB. I would use Gwen 2.5 0.5b for fast simple tasks. For example, I would use it to generate short labels, to answer very short questions, to format text snippets or to add a basic chat function to a project. It feels responsive and it uses little memory, but I would not rely on it for correct translations or careful reasoning. Phi 3 Mini can be used as a general local assistant on the Pi. It can translate short sentences correctly, it can explain simple ideas clearly and it can answer basic logic questions. It is slower than Gwen, but the answers are often more reliable and more complete. Concerning Mistral Instruct 7b, I would use it for background or batch tasks. For example, I would send it longer text to summarize or ask it to classify documents. I think you can try to serve it as a local service and accept that it will take a minute or two for some outputs. I would use Tiny Llama only for demos and experiments. It helps test pipelines and user interfaces. Practical tips that help on the Pi. Here are a few tips that made a difference for me. Add a small swap file on an 8GB Pi to reduce crashes when switching between models. Keep the Pi cool with active cooling. Keep prompts short and set a modest maximum answer length to improve responsiveness. If you need a bigger model, consider running it headless and accessing it through a local HTTP endpoint from your app. Also structure your prompts clearly so the model does not wander. On a Raspberry Pi 5 with 8GB of RAM, two models felt very good for everyday local use, which are Gwen 2.5 with 0.5 billion parameters and Phi 3 Mini. Gwen 2.5 is the speed champion. It is great for quick interactions and simple tasks, but it will make grammar and reasoning mistakes. Phi 3 Mini, on the other hand, is slower, but its answers are noticeably more accurate for short translations, simple explanations and basic logic. Mistral Instruct with 7 billion parameters does run on the Pi, but it is on the edge of interactivity. Tiny Llama and similar over-quantized or ultra-small models are useful for demos, but not for reliable answers. The bottom line is simple. The Pi 5 can run useful LLMs locally today. Choose the model according to your goal. If you want instant replies, use a very small or roughly 4 billion parameter model and keep outputs short. If you need richer answers, accept higher latency or run the larger models as a service in the background. If you are serious about running LLMs on the Pi 5, you might want to consider picking up the 16GB RAM variant. Also note that I ran all these tests on the Pi's CPU since the video core is not yet ready for such tasks. If you need help choosing the right model, the right quantization, cooling and storage, or if you need a robust local AI architecture, for your product, we at Pi3G offer hardware and software consulting for LLMs. Now all that's left to say is thank you for watching and if this helped you please leave a like on the video and tell me which model you want me to try next on the Pi.